Honda claims they've also updated the navigation system on the 2020 Goldwing. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. It is a another beautiful morning. We're about to get some rain, however. But right now it's nice and it's only about uh, 63 degrees out. Really, really nice riding weather. You can see the clouds up ahead most likely. It's kind of cloudy. It's still pretty early, about 7.30 in the morning. So uh, since the days are getting shorter, uh, these motor vlogs kind of tend to be more in the dark. So I apologize for that. I just left my morning coffee. And today I'm going to talk to you about some exciting news. The new 2020 Goldwing is now out, has been announced, and there are a few changes in the 2020 model that we'll talk about a little bit on this motor vlog. Give you my opinions, which is what I always do. I made myself some notes down here by my seat, so I'm kind of checking my notes as I go. Because I made a few notes of some of the changes on the new 2020 Goldwing. Uh, the first thing is apparently Honda has modified some of the programming of the suspension. Uh, probably to improve low speed handling that may have been mentioned somewhere but it's a little unclear as to exactly what was changed it's also unclear as to whether or not those changes are in software like within the ECM and whether or not those changes could be brought out to the earlier model Goldwings which I seriously doubt but nevertheless, there have been some changes to the suspension settings. But we don't know much more about it than that. Some new colors for 2020. And not what I would call a dramatic change. Uh, they have gone back to the white, the pearl white like I have, for the DCT or for the Tour model, not just DCT. And now the white has a blacked out engine and blacked out mufflers. And I can't really decide whether I like that or not. I kind of like the option of having that, but I also like the, the chrome look on the mufflers. I think it's a little classier. But I like the blacked out too. You can also get a two-tone red and black on the Tour model which looks to me like the same color scheme they had on the previous airbag model but now you can get it without getting the airbag the airbag model has its own color scheme it is a two-tone black and gray and I really like that I think that's a really nice looking uh, two-tone color mo uh, model now the white DC or the white tour, I keep saying DCT, I mean the white tour, the white tour model also comes now with some pinstripes that were not on the uh, 2018 model. And again, I'm not sure if I like the pinstripes or not. Uh, if you like the pinstripes, I'll show a picture in the video. If you like the pinstripes, put in the comments down below. Tell me what you think of the new color schemes and the new uh, model. The non-tour model, the base model Goldwing, now comes in a matte black with some red accents on the engine and on the center uh, switch panel, which are kind of cool looking really. So it's actually got some pretty cool looking stuff on it. And you can now get a DCT in the non-tour model, which honestly I didn't know you couldn't before. I guess I just never paid attention to it because I never really looked at that model very closely. 
Also, Honda has added the USB charger in the saddlebag on all 2020 Goldwings, tour or non-tour. So you get the second USB charger added at no extra charge. And on the tour models, you get the Honda fog lights included as standard equipment. Some people will still swap the Honda models out with the brighter Rivcos or some different, more feature laden from Pathfinder LED and, and others. Probably one of the nicest new features on the 2020 Goldwing are the new grab rails for the passenger grab rails on the seat. They finally designed a grab rail that looks like it's usable. It also looks like you'll be able to, it'll make it easier to put the bike up on the center stand because you can actually wrap your hand completely around the grab rail and pull the bike up with it. So I like the new grab rails and I would assume that that could be added to the 2018 or 2019. I'm sure they didn't change the mounting mechanism, they probably just changed the grab rails. So, you know Honda, it'll probably be $250 to buy the grab rails, but if you want to spend the money, you'll probably be able to upgrade or change out your passenger grab rails for those of you. And it looks like it's better for tying down things like luggage and things like that. Honda claims they've also updated the navigation system on the 2020 Goldwing. Uh, I haven't seen any specifics as to what that means. I also haven't been able to verify that that update will be available to the rest of us with the earlier models. But I would assume it would be like last year, that probably in January uh, we'll get some sort of navigation update to match the 2020 model. That's just a guess. but that probably is the way Honda would handle that. Again, we don't know the specifics. Uh, it's possible that they've done something significant to the GPS and the navigation system, but we just don't know. I'm just giving you the information that I have right now, which a lot of you may have already seen on the internet, or maybe you haven't seen on the internet. There is no change to the storage capacity. The saddlebags in the trunk are identical. For those of you that were hoping they were going to come out with a larger trunk, I'm sorry. Honda does claim they have made some changes to the fuel injection and to the DCT transmission. Actual mechanical changes to the DCT. It's a like a third generation DCT transmission, or that's what I read they call it. And it apparently shifts quieter than it did previously. And they have done something to improve low speed maneuverability. And I don't know if that has to do with just changing the shift points uh, in the ECM. Again, I don't know if any of these things are going to be available through an ECM reflash or a replacement, but I doubt it. My guess is you'd have to buy the 2020 Goldwing to get those changes. But apparently they've actually made some mechanical changes to the DCT that make it shift quieter. And uh, we'll just have to wait until we do a test ride to actually see if I can tell a difference. And as soon as I can find a 2020 Goldwing to test ride, I will do that and report back to you. So I think the big question in a lot of people's minds, some of you are probably considering the purchase of a 2019 Goldwing, or even a 2018 if you can find a leftover 2018. I know uh, I looked at Shawnee Honda's website the other day, they still had a couple of uh, 2018's left over. Or should you wait and get the 2020? Well, the pricing to me looks to be about the same as it was last year. I think it's 28.5 for the 2020 DCT Tour model. 
So I don't think they've really raised the price much. Now the airbag model looks pretty expensive. It's like 32.5. But you know, I, I don't keep up with prices that much, so I can't swear to it. Maybe Honda did raise the price, but I think the price of the DCT Tour model was 28.5 last year. So if you can get a 2020, you know, for basically the same price as a 2019, uh, heck, I'd say probably go with the 2020. On the other hand, if you can save $1,000 by buying a 2019 or more, or even save several thousand dollars by buying a 2018, I think uh, that's something you should also consider. I don't know if the changes that Honda's talking about are going to be dramatic enough to be noticeable. I remember in 2012, Honda said they changed the front suspension and improved the front suspension. And honestly, I had a 2005 and a 2007 before I got the 2012. Honestly, couldn't tell the difference. Not, it certainly wasn't a significant difference. So I don't know if these changes to the DCT are going to be enough to notice or if the changes to the suspension are going to be enough to notice. So I, I don't have a definitive answer on, on whether or not you should wait and buy the 2020 or if you should just go ahead and get a 2019. I will tell you this. I suspect that these new Goldwings are selling very well. I noticed uh, the largest Honda dealer here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I looked at their website the other day and it appears they only have one 2019 left in stock, a tour model. One 2019 tour model remaining in black because we were looking at the price the other day. Now, some of the dealers are still discounting these and you're going to have to check with your dealer to see what kind of price you can get on these models. Um, I suspect that the 2020s will not be discounted very heavily when they first come out. Usually it takes a few months for the inventory levels to build up before the dealers, or at least the big dealers, start offering any kind of deals. And honestly, nothing that Honda has put on this 2020 Goldwing is compelling enough to make me want to move up to a 2020. It basically, to me, is the same motorcycle. It's not different enough. Now, if Honda had put on a slightly larger trunk, or if they had swapped out the GPS with a Garmin GPS, man, now I'd have to really think about it. That would give me something to think about. But I'm pretty happy with the DCT transmission the way it is. Of course, I don't know any better. I haven't tried the new one yet. But I can't imagine it being compelling enough to make me want to spend the money to upgrade to a 2020. Personally, I like the color of the white Goldwing with the uh, chrome or polished uh, steel mufflers. I, I like that. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below. And thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motovlogs.